receive instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Ya te di las reglas en el camerino. Protejase todo el tiempo. Y obedeces mi orden de todo el tiempo. Por aguante. Touch gloves. Davis. Davis is awkward and elusive. He's got that wide stance when he's in range and he's really planting his feet and putting his shots together, body and head. Good balance. Quick hands from Davis. There you go, says Team alongside us in the red corner. It's a terrific start for Javonte Davis. Own system. He's a sort of Baltimore Brendan Ingle. And Javonte Davis is one of them. The 22 year old in fight number 17 with the white and gold outfit the um the skills and looseness of davis was just too much for him backing davis up here in the corner but he needs to be careful that counter punch powerful counter punch from davis is coming back and he's coming back sharp you're not a sensational one but he's been pretty solid nice jab from davis it's that hand speed and the comfort around the ring, but better from Pedraza as he backs him up on the ropes. Hurt or covering up and sensibly trying to bide time and push Davis back. It's a fascinating one here in New York as the body shots again land from Davis. I'm sure they listen to Floyd. Oh, definitely. He's shouting instructions here from ringside, really in Davis's corner. Obviously, friends outside of the ring. This is the voluntary defense, and it's a really tough one for Pedraza. Our own Liam Walsh waiting in the wings for a shot. Back home, we'll be watching. But all business here. Can Pedraza survive the challenge of Javonte Davis, who's really wielding in the shots from unorthodox angles? It's nowhere to be seen, and that jab can be so effective, even if it's just landing on the shoulder or the stomach. He's walking in here, trying to walk through, but this is dangerous from Pedraza. You mentioned Nassim Hamad and these corkscrew uppercuts and the fluidity around the ring and a lot of weight from the thighs. The balance of Davis. Wow. Just by that uh, Pedraza was beginning just to adjust, Carl, just to have a bit of success and start uh, putting his print on the fight. Some of his head moving like he is now, better with his defence. He seems to be in range, quite comfortable. Doing good work here against Davis, not really getting him anything clean. But Pedraza just showing that he's very much in this fight. And you're right, he is whooping and howling as he throws some of these uh, almost pitter-patter combinations. And I'm looking to retain my title over the 12 rounds and take you to a place you haven't been before. Straighten him and, you know, the influx of punches. He's not loading up either. With these sort of arm punches, he could do this all night. But Davis shouldn't be sitting back taking these. If he's not going to respond, this is bad for him. You mentioned that word, naivety. Does he know what to do in a situation like this? He looks in his corner, comes back with a, a jab. Look at these big shots as he plays to the crowd. Javonte Davis, what talent he has. Win or lose tonight, we've got someone very different on the world stage here in Javonte Davis. Living up to expectations, this uh, super featherweight matchup. And a great order for the main event coming later in Brooklyn. Pedraza having success. Davis, though, having that little bit of razzle dazzle in the. Well, Davis had to respond with something. He was on his back foot. Pedraza was having all his own way, landing fast hands, fast combination punches, not really loading up with anything. And then Davis had his success, but the success was a small burst. It was 20, 30 seconds of success that didn't, didn't see him the round on my card. Pedraza landed consistently through that round. Uh, captured it against Andre Klimov over 12 rounds. Struggled against Edna Cherry in October of 2015. That wasn't a good defense, but looked better against Stephen Smith.
to make him feel uncomfortable because if he has it all his own way, you've seen how flashy he can be. The work rate again of Pedraza. Will there just be the cameos of class from Javonte Davis? Or will that be enough? But this is where it matters under the lights. Three minutes of every round. That's a sweet combination again. He just goes up a gear, doesn't he? With electricity and those uppercuts are punishing. Body shot to body and head. Pedraza tucked up, almost folded in half there. He's felt them, but he's, he's weathering it well. But this is dangerous for Pedraza, who started the round very well. Blinding hand speed from this maverick, Javonte Davis. So quiet in the build-up. So nervous. Well, really hurtful. I mean, Pedraza does look hurt here now, actually. Just oh, oh, oh. Big shots here, a left hand from Davis. And they're landing the accuracy from Javonte Davis and Pedraza's got to do something here. His corner over there are beckoning him to come in and back up Davis. Pedraza needs to move his feet, that's what he needs to do. He wants to be moving around, not standing in front of Davis. You can't stand in front of a puncher and expect to not get hurt when them shots land. I have, yes, I've got him losing one round, round five. It's a bad round for him, the sheer of round four, but if he can um, maintain what he's been doing for most of the fight, I mean... Because the upper kept on the ropes, but when he gets inside, that was precision. I'm like Chippos, man. I got this, yeah.